Thanks for staying with us. We're about to delve into a very interesting conversation with Abiola Lasende. She is the founder of the CIO Club Africa. If you're wondering what the CIO Club Africa is about, well, she's here to tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning, Anna. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Okay, so, um, hmm. It was it was really nice meeting you earlier on, and Thank you, you know we talked about so many things, and um, what the CIO Club Africa is about and what it's doing. So talk to us about what the um, CIO Club Africa is about. Thank you so much for having me. The CIO Club Africa, I call it a strategic movement. It actually stands for the tech leaders. It stands for the tech consumers, the innovators the pioneers, the entire tech community, and even those who are aspiring to be in that um, community. So first of all, it, starts for, um, it stands for the Chief Information Officers Club Africa. The focus is on galvanizing the entire tech ecosystem, right, to make impact. So our objective is to add our voice, our strength, to the digital transformation agenda for Africa. Mm. So it's an African community, the humans of Africa, who are interested in our digital transformation journey. You know, it's amazing. You have um, a law background. Yes. And I mean, you have not worked in the tech, any tech related space <laughs> at all. No. And I'm wondering, what was the inspiration for you? What was the fascination with the tech industry for you? Because the tech industry is an industry that a lot of people just, mm, no, too complicated. No, we don't want to go there. Their complexities are too much. Um, so what was, the, what, was the, what was the fascination for you? Why did you decide you know, to get into that space? To be honest, I think I was just chosen. I woke up one morning during the pandemic, by the way, it was 2020 that this vision started. And I just had, I know you must have had it, this strong impression that later became a burden to do something about spotlighting the tech leaders. Mm -hmm. We're navigating through the pandemic seamlessly. Mm -hmm. Our world was moving on. Mm -hmm. And I just woke up and there was this burden to look for the guys who were behind the whole movement, the <coughs> success of our going through the disruption yeah. successfully. Mm. And I mentioned it to some people. I was not confident at that time. I thought it was a stupid idea. You know, I was working, um, I'm a company, I was a company secretary, and I just felt like, okay, let me use this to give back mm. and just do this as a one-off because it wasn't a great idea to me. But guess what happened? This idea that seemed stupid was mentioned to some key people within Yo. the tech ecosystem. Okay. And it was like a light bulb moment for them. Mm. Now, how come nobody has ever thought, thought of, of this, this in Nigeria? Mm. You know, we've had all sorts of awards, marketing, CEO awards, yeah. CFO awards. Mm -hmm. But if you check, really, really check, we've, we've, actually we've not had this. Very true. And it was welcomed, received by the who's and, you know, by the who, um, how do you say it now? The who's and the who's. The who's and the who's in the ecosystem. And that boosted my confidence that it wasn't a stupid idea after all. So essentially, the, the awards governated into a club with the purpose of keeping the winners and these tech leaders with those of us who are not tech leaders or not had any engagement with tech. Mm. So it became a strategic platform where you can carve a niche. Mm. If it's empowerment, learning opportunities you want, you find it there. If it's advocacy, you find it there. If it's to enjoy the benefits of being in a research and development community, you find it there. And if you just want to be a, a thought leader, you know, a think tank, you find it there. So those are four strategic pillars I just, you know, try to demonstrate. Now let's talk about the Tech Leaders Awards. You okay. had um, the first of its kind last year. No, no, in 2020. In 2020. Started. Oh, it started in 2020. Yes. And you're having another one later on this year. Absolutely. But before then, you have been able to, I mean, you're having like pockets of um, um, events, networking of events that you're putting together to sort of, you know, also bridge that gap and also, you know, um, um, give people an opportunity. That's the existing leaders in the industry, you know, to also meet with the um, aspiring um, tech 
you know, well, people in Absolutely. the industry as well. Um, so you're giving them that opportunity. So let's talk about the Tech Leaders Awards. Yeah, mm. I, um, you know, that focuses on um, recognition of excellence yeah. within the ecosystem. The interesting thing is that it cuts across the industry. So you have the entertainment, you have the media, you have financial services, you have fintech, you have manufacturing, you know, every aspect of our industry. And the interesting part is that it's now spreading across Africa. It started in Nigeria in 2020. Yeah. We just felt like, let's just do our thing you know, as Nigerians. And then we realized there was a huge opportunity to take Nigerian winners across, across the, the continent. continent. So we had that. I was last year for the first time when we had the African edition. Okay. You know, but beyond that, between the awards, uh, I mean, from beginning of the year till we have the awards in November, we have a lot of projects. A lot of them are the first of its kind. Last year, we launched a Ladies in Tech Hangout Ooh, okay. in March. Mm. We felt like we should do something different from all the activities that were going on around International Women's Day. Mm. And we realized that the women in tech were super busy that they don't even go out. I agree with you. So we created or curated an event where it was like a club ambience. Mm. Where it was so funny that we had so much fun that we literally had to start chasing them home. Some will go and tap them, can we order your Uber? Aww. Because it's really time for you to go. They were having so much fun. They were having so much fun. They were networking. I mean, we had testimony like somebody saying, I actually told my mother that I'm going to just do 13 minutes. If it's a woman thing, you just want to quickly go yeah. and out. And she was there for three hours. You know, that was last year. Today, incidentally, we're starting again, first of its kind, what we call the CIOs and tech leaders, first That's Friday. Fine. Okay. Again, so this, this is, is going to be happening every first Friday? Every first Friday of the okay. month, if we're able to, you know, you know, just, you know, gather the resources. So this, again, we've had over 100 registration as at about 7 p.m. last night. Oh, wow. For an event where we were, like, very modest to so just at least bring 50 people into the room. And this event is free? It's free. Okay. It's free, you know, because it's born out of passion. It's born out of the need to just give back. All of our events, the awards have been free. We've never charged anything, you know, whatsoever. So today's event, for instance, has three major objectives. To bring the tech leaders, tech enthusiasts like us out, mm. to mingle, to have fun. Secondly, we will use it as a platform to celebrate some, you know, small wins, so to speak. Okay. So you have the opportunity to come with members of your team. Okay. And you want to showcase them to your peers. Mm. You want them to just have like a mini recognition session. Yeah. And then thirdly, connections and the bonds that we take out of this hangout because it's a free fun event where we're doing karaoke, we're dancing, we're joking, we're having canopies and we're drinking and then everybody will go home with solid, you know, connections. You know, I was just going to quickly ask, for those of us who are not in the tech space, are we also welcome to join this fun hangout? Because it seems like really fun. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm your voice. So I have been advocating that those who use tech, mm. like we're all consumers of technology. Well, we are, true. We need true. to jump in as a key player. I agree. The truth is that without us, you know, the tech ecosystem exactly. cannot would, even survive. It, would, it won't. Yeah. It won't. Yeah. So I have been advocating for that, for us to embrace tech sit down with the CIO of one of the banks yeah. and give them you know, credit or anything right now and get to know what makes him unhappy. How does he move your transactions across? I really learn from him. I really love this idea. <laughs> it's such an innovative idea. Thank you. And um, I'm wishing you all the best. And Thank I'm so really, I can't really, re I can't wait to see you know how far it grows, even beyond Africa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much Thank for you, coming Amy. on the show to you Thank know share you. this initiative with us. And um, yes. Uh, wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful for having me. You're welcome. Right. All right, guys. Um, the top of the hour is upon us. I hope you're not going anywhere. would like you to stay with us. The show continues shortly. We'll be right back.